Hello YouTube, welcome back to part 16 of my tutorial for noobs on Kerbal Space Program. My name is SSJGazahar99, the ultimate noob, and today we're going to be doing some old missions and some new ones. Okay, so for today's missions, we are doing two really easy ones. We've got to test the Rocket Max Mark 55 radial mount liquid fuel engine. Um, again, it's a 14 science mission, so you might as well get it done and get some extra science on there because every bit of science helps. Uh, we've got the testy TT-70 radial decouplers while landed at Kerbin. Again, another 14 science. Can't, can't ask for more. And the next one is to test the Mark 16 XL parachute in flight over Kerbin. So again, this one is a speed and height test. Um, I know this rocket that I've built actually gets to that height. It's a bit hairy. It's a little bit hairy. Um, it's pretty close call when it comes to fuel, but you can get it into the air. You can get it to the right speed. And you can get it to uh, detach the parachute as well. It's not a problem. So we are going to close this one. And we are pretty much going to go into the VAB and see my build. So here we go. And there it is. That's pretty much what it is. It's just a, the big large parachute, which is, um, I'll show you where that is, which is right here. This is the Mark 16 XL parachute uh, with a standard pod. You've got a control wheel. A detachment, the two liquid fuel engines to power, uh, sorry, two liquid fuel tanks to power the four engines that I've got in the bottom here, and two decouplers. It's as simple as that, it's all you really need. So, again, 10,950 kuros, um, that is saved, and we might as well just launch straight away. Now, this is my second attempt at this video. Uh, in the first attempt, um, I flipped the ship over, and for some reason, uh, this clip the bottom of this and Jebediah fell to his death. Now I've pretty much saved Jebediah pretty much throughout this entire series so far. He has survived and pretty much been my main test pilot on all of my missions. So in order to save his life I decided to start again. <laughs> so there you go that's pretty much how, it, how that was. Right as always with a mission any mission that you start, you press T to activate your SAS module, which is your, your flight controls, and you press to complete the first quest, you immediately press spacebar, and there we go, it's done. The second quest, again, to launch it in 3, 2, 1, completes the second quest, and away you go. Now, the fuel to weight ratio is three times, so it's, it's extremely efficient, this rocket. It'll get you to the height you need to be. Um, I keep the thrust ratio down because you don't need to be going that fast. Um, and burning that much fuel, to be honest. You only literally need to be going, as long as you're going up, um, your fuel will go down quite nicely. It will increase the time of Delta V that you have, and you'll get into, get into um, about 25,000 meters pretty easily. So um, we want to go down to here, scroll down. We want 25,000 meters to 33,000 meters between 380 and 680 meters a second. So as we go up, you'll see the speed is going up. Um, I'm going to start to throttle down a little bit. We still want to be going up. So as long as we're going up, we're saving fuel as we go. So that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. I don't mind about the height. I'm, I'm concerned about fuel, of course. But I know I've got 15,000... Um, 1500 delta v still left to go. I've still got a minute and five seconds of burning to do. Speed's coming up nicely. So you just basically want to keep an eye on that. Um, when it starts to really accelerate up, just basically throttle down a little bit. Um, you don't want this really to reset, to be honest. Um, you want it to get to a point where it sort of stabilizes and then it starts to slowly creep up in speed and then it gets really fast. So um, just keep an eye on your speed. Your speed's going up quite nicely. Keep an eye on your altitude. Start doing your gravity turn. These are really quite good engines. So stick to the, um, again, lower your throttle to save some fuel. Uh, you want this one to reach about 30,000 meters because obviously I want to. Um, I want to let this drop off before I activate the parachute. So um, we're doing okay. We come up in speed. We're getting up there in height. We're doing all right. So 19,000, 20,000 at 200 meters a second. Just bring that down a tad. There we go. We come up to 300 meters a second. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Let's bring it down a little bit more, and a bit more, still going, we've got plenty of fuel, now you want to throttle up a little bit, there we go, 
right speed, right height, activate the parachute, now, and that's that quest completed, nice and simple, nice and easy, let that basically drop out, we want to just nudge that away, and that's nice, nice and sweet, sweet, sweet and nice. So that one now go fade off, drop into the ocean somewhere. We're going to come down and the test is actually done. It's complete and it's all good. So we are going to basically just speed this up so we can slowly fall back down to the planet. Um, the parachute is open, so we're going to eventually see the um, the drogue chute come out and we're going to be landing pretty soon. So. <laughs> So yeah, nice and simple, as easy as that. It's um, it's pretty pretty simple to sort out, pretty simple to deal with. Um, obviously, when I get down to about 500 meters, I want to just drop the uh, the time skip. So coming down, five, four, just below a thousand, and I'll drop it. So one, two. Nice big parachute. That's what I like to see. Coming down at 4.3 meters a second, which is still quite quickly to be dropping down uh, at that speed. And you can see um, the moon. There he is right there. I don't know what that one is, but that's probably um, that's probably the grasslands of Kerbin. I'm not too sure where we actually are. Where are we? Where did we end up? In the deep ocean there somewhere. <laughs> And that's where we ended up. So that's pretty much those three missions done in, in one rocket. So again, it wasn't that hard to design. It was quite easy to design, actually. As a matter of fact, um, I, I came down pretty pretty quick. Um, I literally just threw it together in about five minutes. Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that Jebediah died in my first take, uh, it would have been done in one take. So that's how, that's, how, that's how pretty cool that rocket was. So thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time.